Sandy Charles with DevilsDigest.com, and I'm joined by cornerback Chase Lucas. Chase, you have a handful of preseason practices under your belt now. How would you assess yourself out there right now? Well, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of things I still need to learn, especially um, I always try to prove myself every day because you got a, a famous man like, you know, Herm Edwards, and uh, I just feel like I need to showcase my talent every single day. Um, you know, they try to vote me, you know, captain of the defense with J.J. Wilson. And, you know, I feel like I haven't gotten that role yet. Um, I haven't earned it yet. So I don't lead, you know, by talking and stuff. I lead by example. And I feel like I just need to keep doing that every day and just have people receive the energy that I bring. And then we're going to have a, a pretty decent, pretty good, actually, secondary. What are you personally working on out there in practice? Uh, me personally, I'm working on me knowing the coverages, me knowing, you know, what Manny's looking at. And I ask him every day, you know, what were you looking at on that play? Like, were you seeing if I was backed up or if I was pressing the um, the flats or what were you looking at? So every day I try to, you know, like I said, showcase my talent. But at the end of the day, I still need to learn the defense a lot more than I am. So, um, and I really appreciate what Coach White and Coach Gonzalez and Coach Herm have done for me personally because they try to put me in good positions to, to showcase my talent and, that's that's probably the best thing I need to do is just keep learning, keep getting on whiteboards, keep watching film and stuff like that. Now there may be some question marks on defense and even some new faces in some groups on defense, but for you and Kobe Williams, your proven players at cornerback, do you feel that that experience is being reflected out there on the practice field? It is. It really is. Um, you know, they. they I expect a lot out of Kobe, and then Kobe expects a lot out of me. So when I see newcomers like Ashari Crosswell, and I see, you know, Darian Cornet has been here, but Taryn Adams just came, and they're really buying into the defense. And that's when you got something like that as a captain or as a, as a person that's overlooking the defense, you, you just can't do nothing but grin because – if you got have you have everybody that's buying into the into this. We went from the last passing, you know, defense in the country to you know we moved up a couple spots. Now we just got to be number one. Like we have the talent, we have everything, we have the coaching. We just got to execute. Now talk about that buying in. There's a new defensive scheme, three three five. How is that affecting you and the other cornerbacks? Oh, it's affecting us a lot because we we got to make the plays now. They're they're you know we're packing the box. You know we got six. You got we got three linebackers with three uh, defensive line. Now we have to tackle on the outside. We got to make everything force back inside. And on top of that, we got to cover the best players. You know, you to be to me. <laughs> I know they're gonna get mad at me for this, but to me, uh, the most talented player on the field has to be the corner. You got to read, run. You got to read, pass. You got to tackle, and you got to cover a person at the same time and going backwards. So I feel like that is the most crucial part of to our defense because if i read the wrong if i read the wrong play or if my safety gives me the wrong read or the wrong call it's a touchdown but if renell or jj misses a tackle it's probably like a five to ten yard gain so i feel like with the corners you know it's just you're always on the microscope and you gotta at least do everything in your power to stop the run stop the stop the pass so that's why i feel Speaking of stopping the pass, <laughs> other cornerbacks in the Pac-12 are thankful they only have to see Nikhil Harry once a year, 60 minutes, and I'm sure you're thankful that you're out there every day with him, but how has he helped you develop into the player you are now? He's He is the reason why I got all those accolades, you know, yeah, freshman All-American, second team on Pac-12. Um, I've always been, you know, an athletic guy and me and him have grew up together and we've always been in a competition and it was the first thing when they asked me like how good do you think the kill here is I, he, he's the number one receiver in the country he's the number one receiver in the country i kept telling them that for three years now look he's the number one number two receiver in the country and i go up against him every day and, and when i see other you know receivers like jordan lasley and that's with uh baltimore right now and stuff like that i'm just like man these dudes weren't nothing compared to this guy and it it, it I love it that way because I'm a competitor I'm a competitor at heart I always will be and with him he gets up on me you know he'll catch a touchdown pass on me and stuff like that and I just got to keep critiquing critiquing my technique and I just appreciate you know everything he's doing because he's always been there for me too like always talking about um 
you'll be there. You're gonna get there one day. I'm just we just keep working. And him and Frank Darby are work work horses. And I try to I live with Frank and me and Nikhil have known each other since we were seven years old. So I try to get with them in the motion. But I feel like Nikhil's gonna have a really big year this year. Mark my words. Heard it here first. <laughs> I've been telling people, man, this dude, number one is number one. I'm trying to tell them. And iron sharpens iron, and he's made you better. And I'm sure he's made all of the cornerbacks better. Like you did say, you did inc improve last year. But what still needs to be done to take you guys to that next level this year? What needs to be done on both sides of the ball is we need to be more physical. We really do. We need to have a game plan every day. And I know Coach Gonzalez and Coach uh, Coach uh, White and Coach Herm are going to have these game plans. We just need to execute. And one thing that was always hurting us in the past was um, – we were really bad with play recognition. Like we didn't know what they were, that what they wanted to do. Well, towards the end of the season with Coach Bennett, they so we started figuring it out a little bit more, but we just didn't have enough time. And um, unfortunately, that's you know nobody wants to lose games, but uh, that's been a really big problem for ASU in the secondary and on defense. So with a bunch of these coaches, we just got to play more physical and fast to the ball. Like when we watched our film from last year, nobody was running to the ball. Nobody, even myself, and I got to take accountability for that. And but this year, oh, they're on us all practice, miss. I'm telling you, yo, you run to the ball, even if it's 50 yards down the field, run to the ball. So it's just it, it, it it's good to see improvement. It really is, and I'm just loving the defense right now because everybody's on board, everybody's buying in, and everybody wants to be that person on the defense. That's just like wow, he needs to be an All-American. He needs to be a first-round pick. So we're excited. It's going to be an exciting season. And thank you so much. For Chase Lucas, I'm Sandy Charles. Keep it at devilsdigest.com.